purpose of this video is to review unit conversions using the dimensional analysis approach. Now, conversion factors are equalities. That is, for example, if I wanted to convert between kilograms or grams or grams and kilograms, I think first about the equality that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. Then if I divide both sides of that equation, that equality, by 1,000 grams, 1,000 divided by 1,000 grams is equal to 1, and I'm left with a per expression, 1 kilogram per 1,000 grams equals 1. So I can use this value, 1 kilogram per 1,000 grams, as a unit factor for doing conversions. For example, if I wanted to convert, um, say I want to know how many uh, kilograms are in 5,000 grams. I start with 5,000 grams, and I would multiply by the unit factor, 1 kilogram per 1,000 grams, because it's just like multiplying a number by 1, so it's still valid. I'm not changing the value of the number. And so the gram unit will cancel, and so I end up with 5,000 divided by 1,000 equals 5 kilograms. Now you probably could have done that in your head, but the point is, is to think about conversion factors in this way, and then you can use them in dimensional analysis for whatever, even if you don't recognize the units, as we'll see as we move along. Now here's a something that's recognizable. Let's practice using our dimensional analysis to convert 49 meters per second into units of feet per minute. Okay, so first of all, uh, we need to know what's given. In this case, what's given is 49 meters per second. And what's wanted is express that value in units of feet per minute. So the conversion path that I'm going to need to take is I'm going to need to convert my meter units to feet, and I'm going to have to convert my second unit simultaneously to minutes. Now converting between seconds and minutes is easy. There's a direct step, which is the equality that 60 seconds equals one minute. So I can create a pro-expression there. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, the conversion between meters and feet, but I do know off the top of my head the conversion between meters and centimeters, centimeters and inches, and inches and feet, because I memorized a long time ago that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. And I think everybody knows that there's 12 inches in one foot. And everybody knows that one centimeter is the same as 10 to the minus 2 meters because the prefix centi is 1 times 10 to the minus 2. That's what that, that prefix equals. So these metric conversions, basic um, uh, English unit conversions, you should uh, just know off the top of your head. If it's something obscure, we would give it to you. Okay, so now let's begin. These I've got the path that I need to go and I have all the equalities to make my conversion factors. So now I'm just going to start with what's given, 49 meters per second. Meter is in the, in the numerator and second is in the denominator. And then I can just keep my calculations straight using this train track approach. First, uh, the second to minute conversion is easy, so I'm going to go ahead and convert my seconds to minutes. There are 60 seconds per every one minute. So now my denominator unit is in minutes, which is what I needed. And the meters uh, to centimeter conversion, I know that um, for every one centimeter, that's the same as one times 10 to the minus two meters, because centi equals, is um, the prefix for one times to the minus two. So my meter unit cancels. Now I'm in units of centimeters. I know from this equality here that I can write the per expression dividing both sides by um, um, 2.54 centimeters. I know that one inch in every 2.54 centimeters. So my centimeter unit's going to cancel. 
and now I'm left with feet. There's 12 inches and one foot. And my inch unit's going to cancel. So now all of my units have canceled except for my feet and my minutes, which was the units that I wanted. So now I can just plug these numbers into my calculator. 49 times 60 divided by 1 times 10 minus 2 divided by 2.25 divided by 12, and that equals 96,045.66 feet per minute. That's the number I read off my calculator. But the original measurement was in units, it was um, 49 meters per second, and so there's two significant digits there, so I need to limit my answer to two significant digits. So this answer would be correctly reported as 96,000 feet per minute. Let's do one more with squared units. Sometimes those trick people up. So let's do a simple squared unit. Just so you can remember, the units are squared. You need to also square your conversions. So we're converting 467 square inches to square feet. So what's given is 467 square inches. What's wanted is we want to express that value in units of feet, squared feet. Okay, so I know that there are 12 inches in every one foot. And I know here that I'm converting, my conversion path is from inches squared to feet squared. Okay, so I'm going to have to convert from inches to feet, so I'm going to want my foot unit to be in the numerator. So I'm going to divide both sides of this equality by 12 inches, which equals 1. So my unit factor is 1 foot per 12 inches. So my conversion path, if it's 467 inches squared, I need to also express my um, per expression in squared units. So that's going to be 1 square foot squared, 12 squared inches squared. I need to square the entire thing. So that's the 12 is squared as well as the inches. So this ends up being 467 foot squared divided by 144. The inch cancels. And that answer from my calculator is 3.24 305 square feet, but the original measurement had three sig figs, so I'm going to limit myself to three sig figs, so the reported answer here would be 3.24 square feet.